Um, I'm really liking the way this did this, um, even though it was a happy accident. I torched it too much to get the bubbles out, and I got this effect. But it doesn't matter because what I wanted to do was this was just the first layer. I wanted to add a second layer and actually make a, um, a swirly, kind of swirly do look to it. And um, actually do another one that was kind of an outer space look. So this is kind of perfect even though it's not what I wanted. I can see the air bubble marks on the bottom and those can always be filled in with another layer, a thin layer of resin. This is perfect. This one here looks wonderful. I also notice I'm getting some dots on the bottom and I figured it out finally that it's um, because of the coaster mold itself. It had water dots on it even when I purchased it. It had these little water marks in it so I need to get those watermarks out and then I won't get certain watermarks on the bottom of the coasters. All right, let's see what this one looks like. I can see the whole pinholes on the top from overheating. This one's coming out really easy. A little sticky in the middle, but... Once again, these little marks are from what was inside the mold. I bought these molds in like a, gr a group. So I'll have to make another set of coasters out of these exact molds to see what the underside will look like. But no matter what, it isn't anything that a top layer of resin couldn't fix. All right, everybody, let me see what I can make out of these. <laughs> 